and Don, any any thoughts from you around you know takeaways or kind of recommendations? So one of the things, uh, Sue, and and I'm so glad to to have been with you all. But I just wrote down right, kind kindness right is a global DEI practice, right? So if we start with that fundamental right, we can get in the right direction in terms of takeaways. Um, Try the best that you can to integrate your DEI education into the workflow that already exists. Anytime you have something that's separate, right, you have much more friction, right? But if you are building it within a current workflow, for example, if you have a staff meeting and you have your team for an hour, make sure you have five to seven minutes of learning. It doesn't have to be five to seven hours, right? Maybe there's a quick pre-read, maybe there's somebody that shares a thought or two, and then keep moving on so that that little drumbeat is there, but it's in the workflow of what people are already doing. The other thing in terms of education is we have to equip our people leaders of how to handle these new dialogues and in, in questions, right? It's not, in my opinion, a lack of desire and commitment to, it's a lack of understanding and knowing what to do, right? Why do I, it, I've, I've grown up saying you guys, why do I need to change to everyone? What are these pronouns and why do they matter? These are very simple things to conceptualize and get, but we need to get them to be a part of the practice. The last example I will use is this, and I will be somewhat pejorative and I'll just throw it out there, but men historically, right, talk over their women counterparts in corporate America, right? And, and men historically typically do that. That's not necessarily because they're against women succeeding in the workplace. There are habits that have been built in our culture but who in the room is going to say, John, could you hold it just for a moment? We want to hear what our, our, our teammate Julie would have to say. When I've done that personally, when I've taught that, John is like, oh my gosh, I didn't mean to interrupt. He, he just was so excited about his thought. And then Julie gets a chance to share. That is DEI and belonging in practice. And I really try to help organizations figure out how to do this work in practice. And then that helps keep the momentum when we're talking about the big overall principles.